Hello everyone. So today we talk about another problem that is 451 uh, problem. Sort character by frequencies. Let us see what it says. So given a string s, okay, sort its uh, sort it in a decre incre uh, decreasing order based on the frequency of the characters. The frequency of the characters is the number of time it appears in the string. Return the sorted string if if there is if there are multiple answer written any one of them. Okay, example is three. Okay, three we are giving. Uh, so what is the frequency of three in this? There is only one time it is appearing, right? R is also appearing one time. E is appearing two times. So we need to, we need to sort in decreasing order of the frequencies. So that's why E E is coming first, R is coming later, and T is also coming later. So you can see there are uh, frequencies with the, uh, the characters with the equal frequencies can be in any order. For example, E R E E R T is a valid solution. E E T R is also a Valid answer. Okay, so it's not a problem. Another example is C C A A A. Okay, we have these things here. Now, if we sort them, okay, if we sort them, then we'll be having a uh, frequency like A A A A C C C. Both C are appear three times, so both are a valid answer. So there is no problem like this. Okay, and that note that C C is not a character. The same characters must be the characters together. We need to put them together. So that is the approach. Now for A A B B also we are going to putting B B A A, okay that is also valid answer A A A A B B is also uh, A A B B is incorrect, okay because uh, because the note A and R treated as two different characters not single characters, okay so that's it and constants are length is five root uh, ten to the power ten five root ten to the power ten to the power five is the limit and as consists of upper case and lower case later and digits also. Okay, so that is it. So let us try to, or uh, let us try to see the approach, and then we have to solve the problem. Let us see the approach. The approach is very simple. We are given the string, right? Okay. So what we are going to be doing? Uh, uh, we'll be making a hash map. Okay. We'll be having a having having a hash map. In hash map, for every characters, for T characters, for R character, for E character, we'll be checking the frequencies and adding them accordingly. For example, let us start with the tree. T. So T is there, right? Then what are the frequencies? So we'll be using hash map and we'll find the frequencies for this tree. Uh, we'll just loop this, and each and every character we'll check and put it into the our hash map. So T is there. So frequency is one. We'll put at one. R for R, we uh, nothing is there, so we'll put at one here in this case. Then for E, we'll put nothing is there, so we'll put one. Now again E will be coming. It will check in the value one is there. So it will add one more to this. So it will become two. So once that is done, so that is the first process. That is the first thing. Second thing is to sort them. Okay, to sort them de uh, depending upon the this one. So we'll create a list. Okay, from this map, we'll take the all the all the key uh, this sets. Okay, all the keys, and then for T R E, we'll sort them based on the number of the uh, number of frequencies. So it will be sorted accordingly. By using the sort function, okay, to so sort them. Third step of sort, how we'll be doing? We'll be using the comparators, okay, and uh, we'll be seeing how we'll be doing. Okay, list dot sort will be using, okay, and this will be putting these values. And after this sort, we'll be getting some values like, uh, depending upon the frequencies, we'll be getting E R T something like this. We'll get, okay, E R T will be getting with the frequencies of two, one, and one. Like this, we'll get. Now, uh, what we'll be doing at the last, we'll be taking each and every values E R T. We'll be looking into this map, okay, and we'll be using string builder, okay, string builder, okay, string builder. We'll be taking and frequencies we'll check, okay. Suppose S is there, so frequencies how many times is there? Two is uh, two times is there frequencies. So two times we'll be pushing E. So two times we'll push E. Then we'll be putting one time R. We'll be pushing one time t, so like this we'll put, and we'll just uh, return it from uh, return it from our function. So that is it. Uh, this is the approach that we are going to be using. Let us try to write the code for this, and um, you can also try by yourself. Okay, so let's let's start coding. Let us start writing the code. So here first thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be making a string builder. Okay, we can call that as s. Okay. We'll be writing as new string builder. Okay, that is done. Now what we are going to be doing? 
so here it should not be s it should be answer okay then another thing is hash map we are going to be creating so let us create hash map hash map of character comma integer okay that we write hash map equals to new hash map okay so that is done uh, this should be hash map not hash map hash map characters integer hash map new integer okay so that is done now what we are going to be doing uh, we are going to be traversing and filling all the uh, frequencies so how will be traversing that so simply for as character c h in our s dot to character array okay what we will be doing we will be putting uh, pushing each and every character in this uh, uh, map in our hash map so hm dot put our ch comma so we will be first checking if our hm which is hash map dot get or default will do that if some value is there then take that value otherwise something is not there then just take the um, default value which is we are going to be setting as zero in this case so this is hash map get or default okay plus one plus one okay now we all got the frequencies now our task is to simply take the keys and make the uh, list okay so here we, are, we can do something this also map similarly we can do for the list list will create for characters list of characters will put okay and uh, in this we will create new array list we will take hm dot key sets key set basically not key sets so we will put key set here and uh, what we will be doing we will be using uh, we, not, we need to give the name also here we didn't give any name so list dot sort will do we will be having two thing first is ob1 comma ob2 and then we will be returning ob1 ob1 minus ob2 okay so this is the fun sort function here ob1 we need to get it from our hash map also so hm dot get ob1 okay here also we will get hm dot get ob2 okay so that is done our uh, list is sorted now so what we are going to be doing now we are going to be just iterating in our uh, list and making the use of string builder and making the builder okay so first we will be iterating in our list so int i equals to 0 okay i less than equals to i less than list dot size or list dot length we can use this uh, for each also so character ch in our list okay what we'll be doing for every character so for in we start our with this i equals to 0 i less than i less than uh, ch that is hm dot get ch that will be our integer so that is not gm it is hm hm dot character okay i plus plus and then we'll be appending in our answer so answer dot append that character ch okay so that is done now at the very end we'll simply return our uh, this one answer but that is so we'll be using to string function to return it okay so that is it now let us try to uh, run the code and see the output so 
so it is showing some error here instead of double this it should be single dash ok now let us try to run the code so it is showing wrong answer let me check yes the answer is successfully sur uh, submitted the problem was is that we are we were sorting in ascending order so it should be in descending order so ob2 comes first then ob1 comes first the yeah, oh, letter so that is it for this problem so let us again revise it so that you can understand uh, so string builder we are going to be making okay for you making the use of then we are using map okay hash map basically for each character we will be storing into the our hash map and we will be making a list uh, from the keys of the hash map and then we will be sorting that depending upon the values decreasing order will be putting first and the uh, smaller one later for each and every character in our list will be appending into the answer and this returning it from our function so that is it for this problem i hope you got the basic idea of the problem so that's it for this thank you for watching we will meet in the next video such our problems